Hello world! Aloha guys! I ate really fast. I was starving all day. Um, I was training the new person and was just starving. He ran here into the car and ate in five minutes, which is not good for the digestive system, but I was hungry. <laughs> So I have a lot of time to talk before I have to run back into the office. Anyway, magistorya ta. <clears throat> I wanna talk about kanabitaw, libak libak, silo silos, ngawa sa lugar, kanang manghimantay, ng manghilabot sa lain tao, nga, you know, they don't mind their own business. Um, and I can understand why people get jealous. I can understand why people, you know, look down on people and push other people just so they feel good. First, ang reason kid ana kay very insecure gid sila. When you're insecure, you do whatever, no matter what, to the best of your capability to hurt others, so you feel better. It's a very, very ugly trait. It's not good. First, it doesn't look good on you. And second, everyone stays away from you. No one wants to become your friend or no one wants to be around you at all. So it's a very bad trait. And you know, tambag lang nako sa mga batan on din ha. You shouldn't do it. If you don't feel good and you feel really insecure or you don't have any confidence because we don't know why, um, do something to make yourself feel better. Uh, do something good towards others and it will really make you feel good about yourself. Don't start um, sending out gossips which are not true because it comes back to you and it really looks bad on you. Um, when you're selfish, it's not good either because all you can really think about is you, 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 and it shouldn't be. It's a very ugly trait. When you're selfish, uh, you're jealous. When you're selfish, you're angry. When you're selfish, you just overthink things and do whatever to hurt someone's feelings or to do something to push someone down or do some something to step on someone else's toes or do something to get on everybody else's business and no nobody wants to be around you nobody wants to be your friend nobody wants to talk to you Nobody wants to help you because we know that no matter how much we try, it's just the way you are and you'll keep on lying and we don't believe you anymore. So I'm reaching out to people out there to think of things before you say something. Think of the things you're about to say before you actually deliver it and utter it and think of the things you are about to say before you go hurting other people's feelings and hurting their friends' feelings or your family. Most of the time when you're hurt, you direct it to your family and just because they're family, we're not always gonna be here. We are human too and we get hurt too and Blood doesn't mean anything. I know they always say it goes thicker, but blood doesn't mean anything. If you mistreat a family, no one wants to be around you, even if we are family. So think about it. Don't take family for granted. Don't take friends for granted. Don't take anybody for granted for that matter. No one should take anyone for granted and just because you are a very close friend or you have money or if you have none or if you are just because you are family, don't feel privileged and that don't think that the world owes you something just because you are a family. It doesn't work that way. 
life is beautiful but you know sometimes it's hard and you have to make the most of it you have to work hard if you want a better life uh, you have to treat others well if you want people to treat you well and it goes around in circles it's just the way it is nothing is free here in the u.s they say there ain't no free lunch and it's just the way it is what you give out there is what you get back in life and that's reality hi anyway i just wanted to share it out there but, um, really when you hurt someone it might not come back right there and then to you but it will happen to you tenfold so bad karma is bad karma and it's not good so think of things before you hurt someone think of things before you say hurtful words think of things before you push your family around think of all the gossips that you've caused and have hurt many it goes in a domino effect it goes like this you hurt one you hurt everybody else around them it's not good and it looks bad on you as a person no one wants to be around you <sighs> in a way I am already accepting submissions for the December 1st contest final submission is December 1st for the parole lantern making contest and again it's three winners at 5,000 pesos which is a hundred dollars each um, so far I've gotten five submissions so all you need to do is submit a picture uh, it would be better if you're holding it and um, I'll compile everyone's submission and I'll post it on YouTube and or Facebook I love you guys